Hello everyone, Rand here, and welcome back to the Farming Simulator 19 on the Millennial Farmer map. And since last episode, I finished uh, planting all the fields here, so we are finally finished uh, planting. You know what that means, everyone? Yep, now we gotta spray all these crops. Lots and lots of spraying to be done. So let's just uh, hop into our uh, 8RX here, just sitting in the driveway. Uh, commute our way to uh, work here a moment. And uh, we'll get the sprayers fired up, get the uh, trailers out, and whatever else we need to all, you know, get done here as far as that goes. Oh, let's see. We'll just, uh, we'll just pull up by the bill in there. That's probably pretty good. Okay, there we go. What? You folks don't take your 8RX to work? Come on now. Okay, let's see what's here. Let's grab a sprayer number one. Which has liquid fertilizer. And I think we probably want one sprayer. Oh boy, running over jack handle. Uh, one sprayer with liquid fertilizer, probably one with herbicide. We don't happen to have, uh, by chance herbicide in the other one, do we? Nope, of course not. Uh, let's see once here. Let's, uh, open that door. I guess I could, uh, back it out there too, but why not? We'll just uh, drive it out. I think I have room. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, get this, uh, sprayer out here a moment. Oh, and let's see what's your, uh, question is. Should we spray for weeds? Actually, you know what? We should probably... Spray for weeds all around, shouldn't we, everyone? That's, yeah, that probably would be the best. The fertilizer, I don't think at this stage is going to be of too much importance. The weeds probably are going to be of more importance. So, you know what? Maybe we'll switch both sprayers over to, uh, over to liquid fertilizer. Yeah, that probably be the best bet, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get some trucks out here. Make use of the manure system. Oh, let's see once here. Sure, we'll take the, uh, take the good truck, right? My uh, plan is here, once we get the uh, weeds sprayed, I'll probably end up fast forward time a little bit more here. Hopefully we get to the point where we can uh, put fertilizer down because for fields one, two, and three, like all those fields, yes, one, two, and three need two more, two more applications of fertilizer. So that might be a little brutal. We'll find out how that goes. The rest of the fields are all set fertilizer-wise because if you remember everyone, I did put oil seed radish on the other field so that gave us uh, two applications with that uh, that program oh and I think we mentioned this already everyone but uh, we finally have a trailer that actually has some trays in it that holds hoses uh, much better at least I hope it is anyway now the, the hoses actually sit in the trailer and actually you know what I think we can actually get some more hoses yeah that uh, sounds like a whole lot of fun here what, what is the command for this again alt s nope that's uh Control S, Alt S, nope. Shift S. Hmm. Ah, wait, there was an Alt, uh, Shift, Alt S. Doesn't look like it works, but it does actually work. And then if we, uh, let's see, let's go to the shop here. I'm just curious if this works here or not. We grab crop protection. I believe crop protection is where we find the hose. So, yes. And there's 120 foot booms there for. The new 4940 sprayer. For those of you who have not uh, seen that sprayer, that has been released there by Custom Modding. Here, check that out. I don't think that one has uh, section control on it yet, to my knowledge, Owen. Uh, I thought it did, but then uh, there was an update to that sprayer. And if, from what I'm being told here, it had section control and it had a bug. So to fix the bug, they took section control off. Like, oh, okay. So that was a little bit disappointing. Uh, I'd rather like to see, uh, rather like to see section control on that sprayer. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We pick this uh, stupid hose up here. There we go. And I assure you, folks, you you play with a newer system, you probably won't have much hair left uh, by the time you're done playing with it. There'll be a uh, attach hose. There we go. Oh, you can attach hose in multiple spots. Um, interesting. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll just uh, we'll just uh, leave that one there. Oh, I, okay. I think I see what happened. Uh, it attached the one hose. Everyone disconnected the one that was already. Right. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I think. No. No, no. Oh, yeah. Drive on. Just 
I should I should have just uh, I should have left this alone. Everyone should have drove on. I had to get all fancy here with these houses. Oh no. Yeah. Now we got him. Yeah. See if we get the stack. Oh, not that. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Fine, fine. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. Just chuck the hose. Yeah, okay, screw it. We're not gonna do that. We'll just leave the hose hanging. Like I said, everyone, uh, you, you play too much with this uh, manure system mod, and I assure you, you will not have any hair left here. Uh, Giants physics uh, simply are not capable of dealing with those uh, small hoses like that. And uh, trying to deal with it, yeah, it's gonna drive you uh, <clears throat> crazy. Absolutely, insanely crazy. You know what? I need to be on the other side here. So I'll rig around here a moment. Ooh, gonna clear this. Close. There we go. And that is... that's Oh, that's the purpose. Actually, you know what? I want the other one. Because I want to pump the liquid fertilizer out. Nope, wrong truck. I want the blue truck. Try that again. There we go. If you notice that when I got two trailers... I've got a uh, trailer that has blue frames on it and a trailer that has red frames on it. The blue frame trailer is fertilizer, the red frame trailer is herbicide. You know, again, at least with the way the game works, I mean, it's kind of hard to use the same trailer for both. So unfortunately, I just have to uh, go with two trailers here. That seems to be the easiest way I can think of to do it. So as I uh, we, we discussed this here, few episodes back when we uh, first got these trailers. I mean, real life, typically what happens is a farmer will have these trailers or trailers like this, right? They will be filled with water. There won't actually be like chemical herbicide fertilizer in these tanks, typically. Um, uh, the, the tanks will be just water, and then you'll have concentrated forms. That's uh, like those totes back there. That's probably what's in those. Concentrated forms of your herbicide and fertilizer and wrong side again here uh whatever you want to put down right and then you just uh mix that or induct it when you uh, fill the sprayer Okay, sure. Something like that. Let's go grab... Uh, actually, you know what? let's grab one of the hoses off here. That's all flopping around. Uh, how about you? Nope, you're the trailer. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Sure. <laughs> Don't you just love it, everyone? The hose falls off. And now now when you actually want to, like, try to get it off, it just, like... Nope, the hose is It won't actually fall off. Okay, fine. You stay on there. Looks like you're still on there. So let's see if I can get this hose off, then. I think it's off. That's the trailer again. Okay. And that other hose oh my, it has fallen off. I think I'm going to go back to just leave my hoses hanging on the trailer. I mean, that sounds like a better plan, to be honest. Uh, this is getting old already. Now, the concept and all, as I said before, I mean, it's really cool, but um, it leaves a lot to be desired. There we go. Okay, and then we want to switch. I guess it really doesn't matter. We go into the sprayer. I guess the sprayer's running. Actually, I guess the truck's running too in it. Uh, we want to change pump direction to emptying and pump. And should start pumping the liquid fertilizer back out of there. Meanwhile, I'm going to get some hoses here set up so we can start uh, filling it. Pull the trailer back around here. There we go. Let's see if I get one of these holes back on here. There we go. Okay, now you. 
That's the trailer again, and the hose falls off again. Oh. Come along, hose. Now, the, the great part, everyone, is when the hose uh, falls to the ground. That's just, you know, that's just the best thing ever, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, trailer. Back this way. I wonder if I turn heavy lift off. Maybe that would make a little... Then I won't have to worry about picking up the trailer. Uh, that actually might help, maybe. Can you actually connect two hoses together? We'll find out. As soon as we uh, pick up the trailer again. There we go. As soon as we pick up the trailer... Uh -huh. Seriously? Uh, except I'm not using the heavy... Uh, I wonder... I'm not using the heavy lift that comes from this one here. If I, like, cycle this... Does actually seem to have broken it. Okay. Still pick this up though. Okay. Hmm. That might be the ticket. I don't think you can connect two hoses. There is a connector, I believe, somewhere. I don't know if it's actually an actual connector or just like a pump between those that probably would do the trick as well. Oh, and the hose just flipped up right on there. Okay, cool. Just, just stay there, I guess, right? Okay, how are we looking on this? Almost empty. Oh, that can be out there a moment. Okay, and perfect. Oh, and I probably should have shut the pump off. Yeah, if you don't shut the pump off, that does seem like it can cause some problems, so... Yeah, because the trailer got uh, all uh, around. Okay, now can I pick this up again? Nice, okay. I might just have to, uh, yeah, kind of like that one. Ability to turn that off, that might just be what I need. Okay, now I'm stuck in the tank. There we go. Back in here, turn super strength back off. We do have the uh, uh, single dedicated mod for that as well. That's what I typically run, everyone. And uh, that's why I can... Or, or have heavy lift without actually having to turn that on. I don't want to get the sprayer, actually. Okay, and activate. Don't want to change it to filling. And then activate the pump. There we go. Actually, how much is in this tank? Let me check that. Uh, 49%. Okay, well, that'll last a little while. Let's go get the other sprayer out, because that one had like a fertilizer in it too, right? get that one unloaded and yes yes I know when you could just simply push the I button and load it but this way this way is gonna make you pull, pull more hair out we got all the uh, planters sitting in the yard and the other two planters are uh, lined up in front of the house over there you can get those uh, put in the way in the shed there yet uh, we also got the roller there as well Probably yeah, take that out to uh, some of the soybean fields there, roll them. Again, at least in the game here, when it doesn't do anything, but we can at least uh, say we did it. Realistic that way, right? There we go. Get the sprayer. We're going to do the same thing. Change pump to emptying. Hit the reload. That start unloading. And how are you looking over here? We are 22% full. Okay, that that might <laughs> that might just uh, take a while here. We got some lights on. So where, where are the lights? Uh, not sure. Yeah, there's definitely uh, lights on here. So, oh, is that the truck? Yeah, that's right. I think this. Yeah, okay, it is from the truck. This little uh, this truck here haven't has uh, lights on it that are stuck on. Great, and there's that hose here. See if I can get that actually attached properly. Nope, guess not. Okay, fine. They can stay there. I'm curious. We'll wait for this to fill up here. Pretty sure I saw like a little pump you can use. I'm not sure what the purpose of this pump would be because every piece of equipment I've used so far has a pump on it. 
Actually, you know what? Come to think of whatever, I can answer my own question. There's not, everything has a pump on it, so that's probably why. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can use this with the GPS. Okay, then. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can use this with a newer system mod there, connect your hoses. Uh, this nurse trailer here, that is the one I have. Is that the one that supports the hose connections? This one does not look like it has a hose connection. Okay. There is a trailer like this that does have it. I thought I downloaded and installed it. Now I'm not so sure. Maybe it's in a different category. Oh, yes, that's right. We can put some fertilizer down with that, too, can't we? Yeah, we might just do that. We got quite a bit of corn out there. Uh, where is that, actually? Almost have forgotten about that. No. Oh, there it is. Back here. Okay, and I don't think that's actually where I left that parked, I don't think. Uh, yeah, back to our super strength. Gotta do a little uh, working out here. What, you, you folks don't just uh, uh, work out with your uh, implements? I mean, uh, you know, it's a great workout routine, everyone. Yeah, you get up in the morning there and you just uh, walk up to your Demco uh, applicator here and, well, as soon as I find a spot to grab onto it there, there we go, and you just uh, start lifting it. You know, a de dead man lift type thing. Whoa, my goodness. Okay, then. Um,. Hmm, well, that was less than ideal. There we go. Got it. Okay, I think that'll pull... Let's see what's here. That'll pull quite nicely with something here. 8R. I'm thinking probably... Yeah, I'd like to use the 8RX. The only problem is the 8RX does not have any additional tanks on it, so... Having additional tanks would be kind of nice. Or does this have a hitch on the back? It does not. Nope. No hitch. No hitch. Uh, we could try the 8RT, maybe. Supposedly there's some uh, side quest uh, 1,000 tanks that'll fit the 8RT. I'll have to look. I don't know if I got those or not. Uh, anyone done filling over here? Or done emptying? You are almost done filling. You are probably done emptying, right? Yep. Nope. Oh, for no, we're, we're out of space. Well, how do you like that? Okay. Hmm. You had an idea. Wonder how full that Demco is. This is kind of the uh, one cool aspect of the, uh, this mod, everyone, is you can use one piece of equipment to fill another piece of equipment. So let's grab. Yeah, we'll grab the 8R for now here. Jump out of back. This in the shed while we're at it, right? Put our equipment away. Not that we'll ever probably be using this uh, again on the map. Uh, as I said before, I wouldn't plan on wrapping this series up here after this uh, year. Been a uh, fun time on the map. Really enjoyed the map, by the way. Highly recommend it. Uh, if you're looking for a great uh, U.S. feeling uh, map to play on, you know, corn and beans, beans and corn type map, I'd say this is definitely it. To uh, put it uh, quite bluntly here, everyone, there's uh, lots of uh, stupid people out there that are going to tell you this map is broken and unplayable. Um, my first part of my statement explains those people, so let's, uh, let's leave it at that. Perfectly playable map, if you ask me. Yeah, there's a couple things on it. Nah, just stay off a of field. What's it, was it, number five, maybe? Or, you know, maybe and don't want to farm the bottom corner of it, I guess. That's probably the biggest uh, problem I know of. That That's a pretty good one there, if you ask me. That one probably shouldn't exist. On that, you know, some minor little quibbles here and there, maybe at the most. Which I would say everyone is fairly typical for maps. Um, there's a lot that goes into maps, so it's pretty hard, you know, testing-wise to get every bug worked out until, you know, you get a group of people playing on it. And, oh, hey, this person finds that or that person finds that, right? Although, like I said, the water, the water one, that one shouldn't have happened, I don't think. You ask me. Yeah. Change that to filling. Yes, that's the right way. There we go. And see, we can uh, fill that up. I said that's kind of cool. I'm not sure if that'll actually fill the tanks or not, or if it'll just fill. I'm assuming it'll just fill this. I have no idea how much is actually on that. Suppose if I paid attention, I probably could figure it out. Okay, you done uh, filling. You are. Stop you. Put that off. Okay, apparently got heavy lift on again. <laughs> Shut that off. Kind of liking that, though, with the developer mode there. That works handy. 
So that, that'll actually probably help uh, when you're using the manure system. Had not uh, thought of that before until now, one. Yeah, so if you're working with a manure system, maybe, you know, turn heavy lift off if you have it. Okay, I was going to go to field three there, but uh, seeing as how we're kind of blocked up with equipment, let's go the opposite direction. We'll head all the way over to the other side of the map there. We'll start uh, spraying those four fields. Shouldn't uh, take us long to spray these fields. I mean, two R4045s going at this, everyone. It should get done pretty quick, I would think. I would think. We'll find out. And these are the uh, Busters R4045, by the way. Uh, yes, everyone, this is a modified version of the 4045 that does have section control on it. Uh, the section control version of this one is not public at this point. Got to say, though, uh, if you have not tried section control, you really should give it a try. Best thing ever, if you ask me. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with course player hired workers, but if you do it yourself, yeah, it works great. Clear out the gate, no problem. Okay, we'll just uh, start. I think this is the first field here, right? Yes. Oh boy, over the ditch. And course play, you're up. Course generation field six. Uh, one headland, that should be pretty good, I would think. Generate that course. A couple passes up and down. Yep, looks like that'll about do it. First wave point. and drive the course. We'll have to see once maybe everyone, we can uh, maybe uh, dem look at demoing a uh, 4940 uh, sprayer here. That might be kind of fun, right? Why don't you just do that? We'll see once here. Uh, that is working, right? Should probably really, let's see once here. There's no weeds coming up anytime soon, is there? Closest weeds are there. Should, like I said, really want to make sure it's working. Looks like it is. As I said before, everyone, and if you ask me at least, I think it's a bug that exists here with Seasons Mod when it comes to a fertilizer and herbicide. Um, yeah, you can't do both at the same time. You have to wait for a growth stage or something to occur, which is kind of annoying. What is out in the field here? Oh, you know, we'll take you back. I, didn't, I thought I had all of my equipment put away. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say put away. I, mean, I thought I had it back to the farm. Guess not. We'll bring the, bring the truck back here. Now, what, what am I gonna say when I, you know, I take the 8RX to work. And a minute, you folks would too if you had an 8RX. I mean, that, that, that tractor probably has a better seat than most uh, vehicles do. I mean, massage seat, heated and cooled, you know, great. Built in uh, mini fridge. Okay, we'll just leave that parked. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, that's right. I got lots of herbicide here, too. Okay, noted. Uh, before I go fill this uh, tank up over here with herbicide, which actually, you know, it looks like I probably should do. We got plenty of tanks over there. Actually, maybe we'll do that here. You can actually uh, pump from these tanks, by the way. Uh, what's, there's more here. Yes, that one. That one is liquid fertilizer, though. Okay. Get rid of that one there, too. I think that's all the tanks, just those there. Okay, and then we just uh, go from that to that. Uh, in-game tank. I think that's an in-game tank, right? Double check here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the in-game tank. I'm guessing this is a modified version of the in-game tank, everyone. I don't think that's the actual in-game tank. Because I don't think the actual in-game tank had a connection like that on it. But uh, let's see what's here. We're going to change to filling. I think that's the right way, right? Oh, okay, let's go that way then. Yep, okay. Oh, that was the right way the first time. Too bad you can't actually see like a fill level on these. That would be really nice. 
And then, you know, we could actually maybe potentially use these a little more, you know, pump out in some empty totes or something, but... Oh, well. Okay, how are we looking over here? Uh, was there enough uh, in there? There was. Perfect. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. Oh, that's right. I got that one uh, filling. Uh, you know what? I can do. Nope. Do here, everyone. Oh, it's done. Okay. Stop that there a moment. Might as well just uh, fill from this here then at that point. And I don't think I get the uh, Demco out in the field here just as of yet. Gonna have to wait till the weeds are sprayed here first. Yeah. There we go. And we need to switch your pump direction to filling and hit refill. There we go. Probably actually not enough on here yet, is there? No, I think this holds like 2,000 gallons. The, the uh, Busters R4045s are definitely a little OP in their uh, capacity. So, okay. Uh, three more tanks there yet. We'll have to come back to that. Let's just grab the roller here a minute. Mm, maybe we can put this on the 82.6. Yes. I was planning on pulling this with the 82.6. We can put this on the 8RX. Sorry, 8260. Yeah, you're, you're going in the shed. Sorry about that. Nothing personal or anything, but, uh, you know, 8 or X, you know, tracks, 3D tracks, massage seat, you know, it's, it's great. Okay. Definitely need to remember, but I'm, I'm going to have to turn off cheat mode at some point because I'm pretty sure that's what's making me run fast. And uh, while most of the time I'm probably not going to complain about running fast, there are times where it's like, no, I, I don't need to run that fast. Which I wonder. Uh, we got uh, speed multiplayer. Nope. Okay. Does that change that? Nah, it still seems pretty fast. Yeah, I think it's about the same. It? Uh, you are empty. We put fertilizer in it. Might as well. As I've uh, said before, when in the game here, this roller has absolutely zero function as far as its actual real function goes. So the uh, the function it has, at least in the game here, is it can put down fertilizer. I don't know who ever heard of a uh, rolling fertilizer, but apparently that's a thing in the game here. Right? So, yeah. Five hundred not fourteen gallons, eh? I think we can put a little more in there than that. Might as well, we would. Might as well fill it up here. Now, will I be put fertilizer down right now, everyone? If I have a field that I've not sprayed for herbicide, I'm not sure if it's going to let me put this down after. Uh... Actually, you know what? Those fields over there don't really need it, do they? Hmm. What I really need is on this field here. Well, we can actually probably start on that here. I'm going to get that sprayer probably going on this field. I, that's corn, though. I don't really need to roll corn. We'll take this over to the soybean field anyway. Let it roll. Why not? Soybean field, I think, is fully fertilized, so I don't actually need fertilizer. Probably should have just left it empty. Actually, you know what? I can leave it empty. I can just hit I. That'll probably unload it, right? Or if that works. Just unloading liquid fertilizer at the end of the driveway. <laughs> Nothing to see. Oh, well. Probably could have left an application of fertilizer off on one of these fields over here. Then we could have actually maybe used the fertilizer function, but we didn't. So, oh, well. Not a problem. Like I said, not really realistic anyway. And here we are, you know, trying to be somewhat realistic by rolling the beans. Uh, well, we're putting fertilizer down with the roller that is absolutely not realistic. By the way, for those of you not uh, familiar with why you would roll beans, uh, you roll the beans on so that the ground is as level as possible. You don't have any like rocks or clumps of dirt sticking up. Uh, beans, when they're harvested, they're harvested relatively close to the ground. So that, that header's like hugging the ground. So any rocks or 
Again, dirt or anything that's sticking up, everyone could potentially get into the combine. And of course, uh, you know, uh, rocks and dirt in the combine. It's not really a good thing. Not a good thing. So that's the purpose of rolling. So you can uh, get the ground as smooth as possible. That way you can get the combine header as close to the ground as possible. Oh, and I just looked at the time. It's time to wrap this episode up. Wow. All right, time to wrap the episode up. Man. You know what to say, everyone. Time goes faster when you're having fun, I guess, doesn't it? Or maybe that's uh, when you're pulling your hair out with a manure system. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, everyone, uh, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.